Hey everybody, it's Megan Tardy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a school get ready with me plus a Netflix recommendation video. So let's get into the video. So this is my second time doing a Netflix recommendation video. But these <laughs> Okay, so first off, I'm going to start with my eyebrows. Anyways, it's, it's my birthday in 12 days. 12 days. I just want to have like a little birthday photo shoot and then I'm good. And today's the 11th of November. Samiha's birthday is today. Shout out to Samiha. The first Netflix recommendation is Ackley Bridge. So I rate that like, I don't even know. But it's, the, it's those type of films that are like educating Manchester. It's quite good. You should watch it. And then you'll see. So now I've done my eyebrows, now I'm going to move on to mascara. The second Netflix recommendation is Grand Army. Grand Army? That's good. Ciao. Anyway, so. Grand Army, I would rate a 9 or a 10 out of 10. It's a bit Euphoria-ish, but it's cleaner than Euphoria. We started like GCSE history. My options that I want to do for GCSE are history, TP, German, a drama. Today, I think I'm going to start public speaking club because one of my options in life, I want to be a lawyer. I'm an idiot for doing this. Why would I get iron now? Ew, come on now. You can't see that on camera, but I'm rubbing now. I got some new shoes. Not I, my mum got them. They're, they're for her, but we have the same shoe size, so we'll share. Mm. But anyways, I'll show you like a clip or something that I see. Wifey, hey, there's one I like me. I think I just said that wrong. The next Netflix, I'm gonna stop saying Netflix recommendation, but the next one is um, Suits. Suits is the type of TV show that's good, but I watch it as like background noise ish, you know, like when you're on your phone and then you just have the TV in the background playing. I still watch it, but I would rate that more like in a seven or an eight out of ten, but it's still quite good. The next one is Money Heist. Money Heist is like an 8, 9, 10 out of 10. Money Heist is actually quite good. It's about a group of people who need to rob a shop, a shop who robbed the bank. Okay. I think by now people know I'm not good at explaining things. So I just said I wanted to be a lawyer and then I said I'm not good at explaining things. <laughs> um, I'm not that good at explaining things because apparently no one understands me. So just know if i'm explaining these in a rubbish way they're so good lip gloss the next recommendation i have for you guys is brother and it's basically about a group foster home or it was like a behavioral group i think all of them or like a prison group ish watch it it's a film it's actually french but you have the subtitles anyways it's quite interesting the next one is criminal minds i'm the type of person to watch oh it's here I've said that like three times. I'm the type of times now, five times now, but let me just get into it. I'm the type of person to uh, watch criminal like cases, case studies on people. Just like, I know that type of stuff interests me. I watch case studies quite a lot and Criminal Minds, if you are that type of person as well, like on YouTube, I watch this girl called Eleanor Neal. She does quite a lot of case studies. And if you like criminology and if you're thinking about being like a criminologist or something like that, then babes um criminal minds watch criminal minds it's quite good it's like basically about some case studies and then they uh, try and make the person who actually did the crime break i'm so bad i'm making them sound boring it's just watch it man i don't got time to be persuading you guys anyways i rate that <laughs> i need to stop i rate that a 10 out of 10 so the next one is when they see us if you want to cry then watch this so basically this is about injustice in the american system uh it's about basically 30 years ago in the 1980s a group of five black boys were at the wrong place at the wrong time and they got taken in for questioning because the lady was raped and beaten youngest was 13 oldest 15 or 17 i'm not really completely sure but they went to get questions and all of that and the system found them guilty they weren't guilty, by the way. They're just, you know, injustice. One of their statements were, like, coerced, if I'm saying that right. Like, one of their statements weren't actually their statements. They were forced to say that. And, you know, the sad thing was that one of the guys that went to the police station was only trying to help his friend. Like, he... 
because basically he was trying to he was he was supposed to be taking care of his friend so the police told the friend to go to the station and he followed him because he wanted to like back up his friend and all that he got caught in the crossfire and he ended up going to prison his sister died he got beat up he got i think he developed some mental health issues while in the prison he it was so sad that's torture if you saw the film you might actually just cry i couldn't i didn't even think i could finish watching that that was a bit too sad but if you want to learn and educate yourself about the justice system in america or know your privilege or whatever um watch when they see us or if you want to cry or if you want to be educated on something to do with black lives matter just watch it next one is you i rate you 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 because babes i that was good at first when i watched the first episode i was like nah baby this ain't gonna work it wasn't actually bad it wasn't that bad it wasn't it wasn't bad i just started on episode two and then i was like wait <laughs> I'm kind of vibing with the show. Ew, what is this? I'm actually annoyed at myself. What is this? No, actually, what is this? What is this? Oh no, no, not this. Huh? So what am I supposed to do now? What now? What now? Man. I'm changing this. Basically, I hid my headband so my sister doesn't come and take my headband that I bought with my own money. So, um, I'm not going to show you where I hid it just in case she watches this video and finds out where I hid my headband. But, um, I just cropped this bit of the video out. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, you know how we do TikToks and all that? We're always doing like silly things and things that maybe we should not be doing. Not illegal stuff. Because imagine if our kids in the future just find our TikTok accounts one day. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. Don't you ever just feel so hungry that you want to throw up? I just felt that. I think this is it for my little... Mm. Mm. I'm hungry, man. Apes. I could have filmed the entire video like that. It looks nice. It looks focused. I might just do my next video like this. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll see you guys next time.